Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to add Torp Recovery on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7.0. For this, you do need a rooted device. Make sure that your device is already rooted. If not, I do have a video on my channel showing you how to root a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7.0. Also, do not try this if you do not have the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7.0. This may or may not work for the Galaxy Tab 1, the Galaxy Tab 2. I don't know. So, just to be sure, don't try it unless you have this exact model. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to do, since my device is already rooted, I'm going to power it off. And while this is powering off... I want to make sure that you know that I put two links in the description. One is for Odin version 3.07 and the other one is for the Twerp Recovery Program. Please make sure that you download these before going any further because you can't do anything without them. The links are in the description. Okay, so now I'll continue on assuming that you've already downloaded this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my device into download mode which would be meaning holding the home button, the volume rocker down, and the power button, all at the same time. When this pops up, you can let go, and you can press the volume rocker up to continue. This is just a simple warning. Okay. Now that it's in download mode, you're going to plug it up to your computer and go over to the computer. Okay, so now you want to make sure you open up, you've extracted Odin. I'm going to go into my Odin folder. Here's the extracted file. You want to make sure that you extract it first. So that it'll look like this. You'll get all these things here. Once you install it on your computer, you'll just need to open this little file right here. This is what Odin 3 looks like. Right here, since I've already plugged my device in, it says add it in the message box. You also need to check up here to make sure it says COM4 or COM2 or COM3. It doesn't matter as long as it says COM something. This is just another way to verify that your device is added into Odin. Also here, do not, I repeat, do not check repartition. It is very important that you do not check this box because it will brick your device. The only things that you need to have checked are auto reboot and F reset time, as you can see here. The next step will be click on PDA over here. Once you are in PDA, you need to find wherever you have downloaded, downloaded your Torp recovery program. I'm going into mine now and then you'll just simply add it in. Now it has to add over here. If you look in the message box, it has to add here. It says leaving CS, that means it's done. So over here to the right, the PDA box will automatically check once it's finished loading in. All you need to do is simply hit start and just wait. So simple, so quick, so easy. Down in the message box, it'll let me know when it's finished by saying res, OK, and remove. So now, my tablet is booting back up, and I'll simply wait for that to reboot. You can unplug it. Feel free to unplug it. doesn't need to be plugged up once we've finished with uh, Odin. Okay, it's rebooted. Nothing has changed. All your apps should still be there. Everything should still be the same. Now you want to power it back off once you've checked everything. Now that it's off, you want to put it into recovery mode. That's just a little bit different than putting it into download mode. With putting it into recovery mode, you'll be pressing the home button, the volume rocker up, and the power button all at the same time when the galaxy tab 3 things pops up 
you need to let go of the power button, but continuously hold the other ones. Okay, now we're in twerp recovery. Now that it's here, you can look at all the different features that it has. It's an awesome program. I use it all the time. I can back up my rooted, my rooted files, and then I can back up my stock program, and I can switch back and forth. It works very well for me, and I hope that you can enjoy it too. The next video I'll be doing for you guys will be upgrading to version 4.2.2 on my Galaxy Tab 3. Um, also, it has a couple cool features on it, like multi-window, so make sure you check back. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks.